What's going on YouTube? Riding Frame here with an update slash how to. Um, the update half will be on my 62 Impala. It's going to be like a, a part four and a half because it's not going to be a full update. It's just a quick little thing. A few things I've, I've finished up and things I've almost got finished up. Um, as you can see, the pipes are wrapped. I did wrap those. I am going to show you guys how I do that. Probably in a later video. I'm not going to show you right now, but I will show you in a later video how I do that. But they look really good. I got the other side wrapped. I got to do a little bit of touch-up paint right here, as you can clearly see. Um, but it looks good. Um, you can kind of see it past all the glare. Right here, I'm making custom um, air cleaners for the carburetor because... It gave me two choices of air cleaners, but I couldn't run either one because I've customized the car so much, you know, underneath the hood that nothing fit. So, you know, I got to customize. Make I'll just make some, some nice little small chrome ones and stick them on there. They'll look really nice. And then the engine will be 100% done. I got all my fuel lines ran. I got I put a little bit of gold. You probably won't need my camera. Probably isn't gonna pick it up. On the ends of where all the um lines would run into which you know it would look like a brass it's supposed to look like a brass fitting but I just used gold instead but it looked really really good I'm you know so stoked on this engine because it's it's as detailed as I think I've ever done an engine and it looks just as good um the other part of my update is right here my interior to my 62 is finished and it is detailed out I put you can kind of see it right there underneath the dash there's a small little gauge cluster that's for my um air ride actually I put that little thing underneath there because I didn't want to switch box in the seat or anything but it, it, it needed to you know here let me fix this it needed to be seen that you could lift it and lower it if the guy wanted to and I wanted that detail in there so I put like a little gauge a little um dash mounted set up with two gauges in there so he knows how much air is going in there and then he could just you know push right on the button and lift it and lower it, it looks real nice you can see it between my shifter and my uh, steering wheel there you can see my custom um, foot pedal gas pe or gas pedal my footprint gas pedal and I got you can see it there and I got it on the other side you guys have probably seen it in another video uh, I got my floor mats done and put in. Those look awesome. I put a coat of uh, gloss red on my dash and detailed that all out. And my steering wheel's in. Um, I also made seat belts out of the same material that I used to wrap my pipes with, which is just it's a it's a um, hospital grade tape. I get it from a local hospital. You know, I got someone that works there is a friend of mine and they grabbed me a roll here and there because they know I use it for stuff so they hooked me up with a, a roll of tape and I just stick it together I'm going to show you guys probably how I do that too you can see they're all kind of laid in different directions because I just wanted to give a little bit of, uh, of, of um, cure characteristics to it and give it a little bit of life you know make it look like the guy just got out of the car and just threw the seat, seat belt in the seat they're all kind of laid out there. All the silver on the front or on the on the seat belts is plastic. Um, as for like, let's see if I can show you guys here. As for like the smaller sides of the seat belt, I took and stuck a piece of plastic between the two pieces of tape because this is two pieces of tape stuck together. I stuck a piece between two pieces and then just snipped it. As I needed, I snipped it with like a little pair of like fingernail clippers, and then the bigger piece of the bigger pieces of plastic on the seat belts are just two pieces glued, or I sandwiched the the tape between the two pieces or between two pieces of plastic, and then just cut it as needed, and it looks really 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 good. I'm really excited about that. You know, that turned out absolutely the way I wanted it to. Um, the other piece that I got done is right here. You guys can see it. 
I did get my back panel piece made that I, I've been wanting to make with the with the um, tuck and roll which I'm really excited about. I'm going to show you guys how I do that here in a minute. And um, yeah, so there's another part I'm going to show you guys here in a minute, but I want to show you this first, which is a, it's a magazine that I'm I'm like a diehard reader of called Rod and Culture. It's old, you know, just true real school hot rods. You know, they're not, you know, phony hot rods. These are the real deal. These are, you know, because there's, you know, I'm not trying to take anything away from the guys building them now, but there's some hot rods being built that I, you know, personally, I'm a, I'm a purist of hot rods. I love them. You know, I live for them. I mean, I love all cars, but hot rods are probably my true love. And this is like my Bible. It's, you know, what I live by. And in this issue, which is it's the winter issue. It's the winter 2010 issue, which is, I mean, it's got an awesome car on the front. I don't, but, um, they did a piece on a model builder named Roloff Zed, I think his name is. I think it's how you say it. He's a Frenchman. And he just builds probably, you know, the cleanest, you know, true old school custom models that, oh, got a shine on it. You know, old school, just custom models that I've ever seen. And they're just, the paint jobs on them and everything are just beautiful. So, you know, I was kind of getting in a rut with this. You know, because this is the style I'm kind of going for, is this old school kind of custom hot rod style. There's a cat right there. You know, big ups to that dude, because he's just building some sick models. But, I noticed... You'll see it in this picture right here. He's got a small plaque in his back window. So that right there just instantly inspired me. So I built a small plaque for my back window. and made it kind of look like the old hot rod plaques. Put it in my back window with the club logo on it. The camera may or may not pick it out. It says no respect. That's a, it's a club I started a while ago. It's not really a model car club. It was more like, you know, low rider trucks and and pretty much all kinds of cars but you know I started a while ago in my local town and I it ended up breaking up after a couple of years but you know it's a name that I built and a name that I love so I'm thinking I'm definitely gonna every car from now on is gonna look like it, it, it is definitely gonna roll with the club and it looks really great just sitting back here it looks all just super old school and just clean and yeah I'm so, so excited about this interior. If the interior turned out, or if the car, rest of the car turns out it's half as good as the interior did, I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be super excited. So, we're on to the how-tos. Um, so, to do the small tuck and roll, it's pretty simple. You know, it's just, I went to my local Michaels, picked up some of this stuff, get the shine off it. Create Allergy Fun Foam. It's like 18 or it's 12 by 18 sheet. It's a huge sheet. I mean, you can see it's big. Um, it cost me like 84 cents. I think they had like a bunch of colors. It's just this old, like a foam. Yeah. But anyway, so I got a big sheet of that, which is I'm gonna have enough to do a million model cars with. And for this, I just cut out a little piece like this little small strip and I set it on here because I couldn't trace that out for some reason it was just being being a pain in the butt so before I had my little pla plaque on there I set this on there and then just pressed it because this is such a light foam I mean it's pretty thick if you can see right there it's pretty thick it's probably as thick as a quarter so I just stuck it on there and pressed it in there and got the indentation in the back and then just cut it all out to the shape I needed it and once I had it to the shape I needed it, I test fit it a couple times because I did have to end up trimming a little bit off and I've seen some guys use like I got a small piece of ruler here 
and I'll set the ruler up there and then I'll mark out all their little lines and stuff and you can do it that way it, you know I'm not going to diss anybody for doing it that way um I used for me personally I didn't use a ruler I just did it by eye it, every time I try to you know make anything work with a ruler and stuff it always just ends up more trouble than it really need needs to be so on to the rest of the, what I'm trying to say here um so I just used the blade of my scissors you know regular old house scissors I just used the blade of my scissors and then just went I went from inside out so I could see where the, I was going but you know and then I just pressed it in there if you press it in there enough you'll get the little indentations where you'll start to and the thing about it is you, know, you can't press too hard because you will go through this foam it's not that hard to go through it I've done it it took me three tries before I got it to the point where it turned out really nice and I could put it in my car so you know third time's a charm so there's tuck and roll you can do it smaller you could do a tighter tuck and roll like you know right there I mean I got it pretty tight on that one this is pretty thickened out or also you can do you know a really old school technique is oh, shaky camera is the button tuck which you know will work great with this stuff too you know you can get like a really nice button tuck pattern with this stuff and you could even I don't know how it would hold paint but you know there's your button tuck which would look great in a low rider or, or if you're wanting to go really kind of an old school you could go with a with a diamond tuck which you know looks good in all your old school low rider cars you could probably do a diamond tuck well you could do a, a tuck and roll the sideways that diagonal tuck and roll which a lot of old guys used to do a lot of those old cats used to do I've seen them do it you could do a diamond tuck and roll or a diamond button tuck you know get your button tucks that way I mean you know pretty much whatever you could think of I mean, you could probably even press like you know Chevy logos or Ford logos or you know whatever you want you could probably do it right into this stuff and it it keeps your the stuff pretty good as for gluing it down I just used you know I didn't know really what to use because I know super glue can be kind of harsh on some foams and it'll eat it right away I've done that a couple times but you know for me I just used my um my um maxi cure I don't know which this is my extra thick I have thin and I have some like super thick which is like ridiculous barely get it out of the tube but yeah this stuff works great for me it's holding it real nice a little warning though also is when I press this out it pushed that foam out a little bit over the edge so I had to trim it a little bit there to get it to fit back in there right so you may have to do that you may not have to do that but yeah you can get pretty much any kind of design or pattern out of this stuff also I will say that if you use it for like your centerpieces and your seats or whatever or like here I had it cut out so I mean it fits in there nice and it looks nice and smooth and flush because I, I had dremeled that all out and then you can see my plastic piece right there that I glued up in there to make it so it sets right you will have to like dremel that stuff out or this thick plastic is just gonna sit on top of your seats and then you know it may not look as good but hey man it's your model car so you know you can do what you want it's just a recommendation um so yeah so that's my little how-to that's my little update I'm coming up to like the 15 minute mark which is like my longest video ever so we're gonna cut it for the 15 minute mark and say like always till next time